Hello everybody, Jonathan Richards here, lead trainer and marketing rep at ABOR, and today it is time for another MLS quick tip. Today I'm going to be covering statuses. Why? Because it's incredibly important that you understand the definitions in order to use all the functionality within Matrix. So to do so today, I'm going to go into residential search, and here are all of my statuses. So let's go one by one and explain each. First off, we have the active status, which basically acts the same as it always has within the system. One aspect to note, though, is our simple standard definition that reads just like this. The listing is on the market and available to show, and an offer has not been accepted. While the assumption will remain that this means the listing is also available to show, all buyer's agents should always check that showing requirements section on the listing to see when they'll be able to show the home. And always pay attention to those instructions as a professional courtesy to your peers. The next section down is our active under contract, or as we have abbreviated it, AU. And the definition here is this. An offer has been accepted, but the listing is still on market. For lease listings, AU means that an application has been accepted, but other applications will be accepted until the lease has been signed. Now we're sure you're gonna have a lot of questions about this new status, so let's cover the basis. Active contingent, or AC, and pending taking backups, PB, are what you're used to seeing here. Neither AC or PB are established status standards in the industry. So instead, we've merged these two into the industry standard AU. The business rules of AU are going to mirror what PB has done for us in the past. So to give you an example, I'm going to come up here to add edit and I'm going to select a listing that I already have inputted and I'm going to come right down here to where it says change to active under contract. And when I change that status, it brings up this status change page. Pending date is required. Why? Because a contract has been signed. Active days on market and collective days on market will freeze, and AU listings will still display on IDX, VOW, and third-party sites. You'll notice on the AU input form that the option date is optional, just as it always has been in pending backup status. You'll also notice is a new required field called Property Cell Contingency, which must have a yes or no checked. The yes means that even with our new AU status, buyer's agents are going to be able to identify properties that are contingent on the sell of another property, usually the home of the buyer. So now that we've seen how a listing is put into the AU status, let's make sure you're clear on how you search for these in our new updated matrix platform. I'm gonna simply come up here to search, click on residential, I'm gonna uncheck active, and I'm gonna check active under contract. Down here, you'll notice property cell contingency. This looks familiar, right? And I'm gonna select yes. And when I do so, bam, right there, 220 matches. Now, keep in mind that this yes contingency would wipe out any other status selections on your search, like active. So if you're trying to identify home sale contingent pending listings, previously our AC listings, then moving forward, it's going to be best to set up a safe search or auto email only with this AU plus yes setting. Whew, now that we've covered AU, let's quickly knock out these other statuses. Next up is pending. And the definition here is an offer has been accepted and the listing is no longer on the market. For lease listings, this means that the lease has been signed. Our next status is closed. Closed is technically a new status, but really it's a catch all for both sold and leased. Used in a sentence, the transaction has closed. And the definition here states this. The purchase agreement has been fulfilled or the lease agreement has been executed. Next status down is hold. Hold is the industry standard status for how we have said temporarily off market. Hold status mirrors the same rules that we've used for T status over the years. No days on market is accrued and listing can stay in hold status for as long as necessary. So the definition here is this. A contract exists between the seller and the listing member. The listing may be completely off market, not allowing any showings and or taking any offers. Our next status down is withdrawn, and withdrawn remains the same as it always has been. The definition is this, the listing is no longer available. The contract was terminated before the expiration date. However, many brokers will withdraw a listing if it has been off market for an extended period of time. 
The system allows a listing to be relisted as active with a reset of the active days on market after 30 days, and as far as collected days on market after 90 days. So even though the definition of the status technically means a contract was terminated, there could still be a relationship between the seller and the listing broker. Our last status here is expired, and expired is the same as it always has been. The definition is simple. The listing contract has expired. Guys, it's incredibly important that you understand the definition of each one of these statuses. It will help you further be successful inside the Matrix platform. As always, if you have any questions, give us a shout right here at the Austin Board of Realtors.